Well, welcome back. This is Greater Devotion, and I'm Pastor Brad, and we're in this series this week, and we're really asking the question, what is it that each of the gospel writers wanted us to know about Jesus Christ? What is it, how is it that they introduced us to Jesus, and what is it that they want us to understand about who he was, uh, and, and what they're basing the rest of their account on? And so yesterday we talked a little bit about Matthew, and today we're going to jump into the book of Mark. And so here's his opening statement in Mark chapter 1, verse 1, and this is what Mark says. He says, the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And again, there's a couple of things that he wants us to know about who Jesus was. The first thing he actually gives mention to is the gospel. And what he wants us to understand is that he is writing an account of the good news of Jesus Christ. And what that really is alluding to is the good news, the message of who Jesus is and what we can receive if we follow Jesus. And so what he's establishing is that the idea, the concept of the gospel, that Jesus came and he brought with him good news. And so what he wants us to understand is that Jesus had a very specific message, something that he wanted us to know, and it's good news. The second thing that he wants us to understand about Jesus is the same thing that Matthew wanted us to understand. He calls him Jesus Christ. And of course, what you need to understand is that Christ is a Greek word that means the same thing essentially as Messiah. And so what he's again, he's reminding us of and he wants us to be aware of is here is the good news about this Messiah. This one, this is what, and this is what he's gonna share with uh, the audience about is I want you to understand who this this person was. Jesus was the Messiah. He was the Christ, the promised one. And he came to bring us good news. And then he makes another statement. And again, these are very powerful statements. If you really take a couple of moments to absorb them and reflect on what it is that he's actually saying. And he says, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Now, he makes a very bold profession. Matthew doesn't make the same profession. He goes more into the lineage and all that stuff. Mark wants us to understand exactly who Jesus is. And not only that he is the promise, uh, promised Messiah, he wants us to understand that Jesus, in fact, was the Son of God. Of course, as uh, Mark uh, you know, spent time with the Lord, he would have understood the teachings of Jesus as he shared that he actually had come from heaven and that he was actually the son of God, that God was his father. But he wanted to reiterate to us the idea that Jesus was special. Jesus wasn't just any average ordinary person, not even a good prophet or anything like that. What he wanted us to understand is that he had come from God and he was actually God's son conceived by the Holy Spirit in a miraculous way and given to us as a gift. And so again, as we're in this season of Advent, as we prepare our hearts for celebrating the birth of Christ, something that we need to understand is that in that moment, what we received as a gift in that stable, in that manger, in that place, was the coming of the good news of a savior, the Messiah, who came from God because he was God's son. That's a good thing to think about this time of year, and it's something that should encourage our faith as we reflect on the person of Christ. On that good word, let's close with prayer. Lord, we thank you that you came and that you were the fulfillment of the promises of a Messiah, that you were and are the Son of God, and that you came to give all of humanity good news, and that good news, that gospel message of being redeemed and restored into a right relationship with God, and having our, our sins and the bondage of those things broken off for eternity. 
And so, Lord, we just thank you. You are good. In Jesus' name, we pray this. Amen. Well, thanks again for watching. Go ahead and click that like and share button. Also, remember to please subscribe or go ahead and follow us if you're on Facebook. We do appreciate that. And we want you to be able to connect with us as soon as we get these things out. Also, go ahead and leave a comment in the section below. We do appreciate when you do that. And all of those things, they help us get the, the word out there, get the, the message out there. And we appreciate when you help us in that endeavor. Well, until we see each other again tomorrow, remember to show somebody a little bit of extra kindness, love, and respect. Talk to you soon. Goodbye.